in this video, there will be no plan. There will be no script. There will be no notes on paper in front of me. I'm just going to wing it and see what happens. Not long ago, I did a review of the new Midland MXR10 GMRS repeater. And on that video, as well as in other places on the interwebs where experts tend to congregate, many of those experts who have never actually seen the inside of the new Midland MXR10 GMRS repeater, many of those experts have proclaimed that on the inside of one of those repeaters, there is nothing more than two walkie talkies and that it's not really a repeater. So in the name of science and edutainment, I'm going to crack open my MXR10 repeater to see if those experts are right or just full of shit. So as you can see here, I have all of the tools that I own. In previous videos, we have pretty much determined that I'm not really what you call a tool guy, but I do have all of my tools. And I have my Midland MXR10 repeater. Looks fairly easy to open. Luckily, not long ago, I bought some Ikea furniture. So I have one of these. I have not opened this previously. I have no idea what's inside. Spring-loaded. Those are spring-loaded. And they don't fall out. That seemed easy enough. So let's see what we find on the inside. Huh. Okay. This is a bit surprising. I did not expect to see this. Ladies and gentlemen, what you just experienced is commonly referred to in show business as a practical joke. This is what we really find on the inside. So as you can see, obviously we have a duplexer from Guangzhou, China. And here is the center frequency that the duplexer is tuned for. Many people asked what the duplexer was tuned for and I had no idea because it's not in the documentation anywhere. So there you go, 462550. So the antenna goes in here to the input of the duplexer. And you've got your high side and your low side going out to here, which must be the radio component or part of the radio components. This is where the power plugs in. So this is most likely the power transformer unit. Ladies and gentlemen, I am not an electronics expert, so I don't know for sure. That's just a guess, but that would be my guess. Power then goes over to the aforementioned radio unit. Another little connector to the serial port right there. Nothing underneath the duplexer. And on the top half, that's the display and button control. I think that is everything, despite my earlier practical joke. There are no radios inside. It does have its own duplexer. Center frequency is tuned for 462550. So that's where the duplexer will perform the best. It will fall off in performance the further away from that frequency that you use. But the internals are locked to GMRS frequencies and there's only eight GMRS repeater channels, so you can't get too far away. But that would be the best frequency to use, 462550. Ladies and gentlemen, there you have it. There is actually not too much to be seen, but you have now seen it.